Researchers Eddie Gray and David Hall worked with students aged 7 to 13. These students had been nominated by their teachers as either low, middle, or high achieving students in mathematics. All of the students were given math problems to solve, like two-digit addition and subtraction problems, simple problems. The researchers watched how the students solved the problems and found an important difference between how the low and the high achieving students interacted with the numbers. The high achieving students solved the questions by using what we call number sense. They interacted with the numbers flexibly and conceptually. The low achieving students used no number sense and they seemed to believe their role was to recall the standard method even when this method was difficult to do. For example, when the students were given a problem 21 minus 16, the high achieving students changed the problem to 20 minus 15. They knew that that problem was easier to solve, but the answer would be exactly the same. However, the low achieving students counted backwards, starting at 21 and counted down, which is difficult to do. After extensive research of the strategies that the students used, the researchers concluded that the difference between the high and the low achieving students was not that the low achieving students knew less mathematics. After all, they were using the standard methods that were taught to them by their teachers and their parents. But the difference was how the students interacted with mathematics. Instead of approaching numbers with flexibility and using number sense, the low achieving students seemed to cling to formal procedures that they had learned, using them very precisely and not abandoning them, even when it made sense to do so. The low achievers didn't know less, they just didn't use numbers flexibly. I'm Amanda Hasty, mother and teacher, and today we're going to talk about number sense. What is it? Why is it important? And how can you help your child or children build number sense? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great educational content and tips. Number sense is a person's ability to understand, connect, and relate numbers, an ability to use numbers flexibly. Some number sense skills look like understanding quantities, visualizing them, and talking comfortably about them. When someone says that they saw 18 sheep, number sense is understanding how many that means. A knowledge of number comparisons and the order of numbers knowing that 12 is more than 10, and that four is half of eight, and not have to have pencil and paper and do calculations to figure those things out. The ability to take numbers apart and put them together. For example, knowing that four and one is five, two and three is also five, and so on. Computing mentally, being able to solve problems in your head instead of always having to write things down. As we saw in the study with Gray and Tall, number sense skills can mean the difference between low and high achievement in mathematics. Number sense skills promotes confidence and encourages flexible thinking. It helps your child to build a relationship with numbers and start to talk about math as a language. In extreme cases, a child with poor number sense skills may not even understand what it means to add or subtract from a group of items. For example, if you have a group of seven beads and you take two away, students with poor number sense skills might not realize that the number has even decreased. And if they do realize the amount has decreased, they might need to count the group again to know that there's only five beads left. A child with strong number sense skills will know that if there's seven in a group and you take two away, there must be five left. 
Trouble with number sense can also make it hard to do multiplication and division. Children may not grasp that it's simpler to combine items from several groups using multiplication rather than adding every group independently. They also might not realize that division is the simplest way to split groups into separate parts. It can also make it hard for children to understand concepts like time, distance, and measurement. That's because these concepts rely on numerals to symbolize amounts and rely on an understanding of quantities. Number sense is important because it's the difference between learning and following math rules and understanding math concepts. When you just follow the rules, you must remember every step exactly, or you'll come up with the wrong answer. But if you understand a math concept, you can make up your own rules and still get the right answer. When a child struggles with math, we often give them extra worksheets, flashcards, or computer-based activities for extra practice. Unfortunately, these approaches often don't work with children who are struggling with number sense. These approaches focus on rule memorization and not on number understanding. If your child struggles with number sense, here are 10 activities to try. Work with manipulatives like blocks and rods to understand relationships between amounts. Do exercises that involve matching number symbols to quantities, like puzzles or games. Work on estimating. Build questions into everyday conversation, like about how many, or about how much do you think is here. Make guesses about how many steps it will take to get from the car to the house, or how much time it will take to drive to the grocery store. Learn strategies for checking whether your estimation is reasonable, like if it took us an hour to go grocery shopping, is it reasonable to think that it's going to take us two hours to stand in line to buy our groceries? Probably not. Intentionally talk about time, money, and measurement. For example, you could have your child keep track of how long it takes you to get to the grocery store, then compare it with how long it takes you to drive to school. Which takes longer? Practice counting and grouping objects. Then add to, subtract from, and make multiples or divide the groups into smaller groups to practice operations. Talk about relationships between quantities. Encourage your child to use the terms more or less to compare things. Point out numbers in different places. Seeing numbers in different contexts really helps your children connect with numbers. For example, looking at numbers in grocery store aisles or identifying numbers on dice or dominoes without counting the dots. Visualize ways to see numbers. Encourage your child to think outside the box. Maybe an eight is a partly built snowman or a 10 is a baseball and a bat. Talk about math with flexibility. Instead of asking, what's six plus four? Ask, what are some ways to make 10? Or, could you put three numbers together to make eight? Or, what's 10 more than 22? This encourages flexibility and builds confidence. Solve problems mentally. This doesn't mean memorization. Instead, it's calculating problems in your brain. So if you know six plus six is 12, then you can calculate six plus seven is 13. Encourage your child to build on known concepts to think about new problems. Don't try to fit all of these activities into a short period of time. Building number sense takes time. Work on these activities when it's convenient over a period of months. With intentionality, many of these activities can fit naturally into activities and schedules of things that you're already doing. Remember, strong number sense 
builds a foundation for mathematical thinking. I would love to hear about some activities that you're doing to help your child build number sense. Write about them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me a lot.